What's up YouTube? This is Jonathan. I got uh, two packages that came in the mail today. I went ahead and kind of cut them open and there was one package that I was really concerned about because uh, I don't know it was a slab and it wasn't really protected as well as uh, I would have liked it to be. So I wanted to make sure it came undamaged. But the first book I got here um, it's, a, it's a raw book. I have this book actually graded, slabbed. Um, but this book is Amazing Spider-Man number 135. Um, the CGC label notates that this is the uh, second appearance of the Punisher, but in actuality he appears on issue 134, I believe on the last page. So I think this is considered um, by CGC the second full appearance. This is a book I see that's kind of on the rise right now. Um, I'm happy to have it. It's a really nice clean copy. I'm going to probably uh, have it cleaned and pressed. There's a few like defects here that could uh, be pressed out. So glad to have that in the collection. And um, I guess I wanted to go into, um, I guess, some of my collecting habits when I first came back into uh, the hobby. And so, um, yeah. All right, so I'm going to show uh, some books. I'm, I'm actually a pretty big uh, Storenko fan. I absolutely love this cover. This is probably one of my favorite ones. Um, it's got that Salvador Dali uh, feel to it. So I started collecting this um, when I started getting back into collecting. Um, like I said, I absolutely loved uh, Storenko's work. And then uh, I didn't really like stop there. I ended up picking up what essentially was the uh, last of this uh, run because he didn't do all of the covers. I think there's some Barry Windsor Smith and some other artists that uh, worked on it as well. But yeah, essentially I, I have all of the, the covers or the books for that, uh, for that lot. But um, I didn't like stop there. I ended up going and buying Strange Tales 135, you know, Nick Fury's uh, first appearance. I didn't go with the, the Howling Commandos. That that book is, like, just ridiculous. But uh, it was kind of funny because yesterday, um, I think Newbie Comics had a top 10 comics to invest in. I ended up watching it this morning. I wasn't able to catch it live. But uh, I have um, this book graded in an 8.5. Um, I bought this at a time where I felt like this book was... was like just really undervalued um, probably not something I would buy now in this market I think um, 7 0 and up is like seven eight hundred bucks and then you know probably up to like twelve thirteen hundred dollars more or less um, and this grade or higher um, there's definitely a lot of books uh, in the raw that can be had uh, I saw some selling for about a hundred bucks and and you know pretty pretty good shape I uh, wouldn't say that they were like you know good or anything like that or I think they were like very good but yeah it's something that I would definitely look into it's probably a good book to have in the collection um, I bought it just personally because I thought it was undervalued and I thought that um, maybe during Secret Invasion this could be something that I could flip for more money um, just strictly an investment I mean, if I were to sell it now, based on what I paid for it, I'd be able to double my, my investment on it. But, uh, yeah, um, I have a raw version as well. I wanted to read it. Uh, this actually uh, goes into uh, the first appearance of Hydra. It's mentioned in here, and you actually see uh, Hydra agents in here. And then um, you kind of see, like, the part where it talks about... Um, right there cut off a limb and two more shall take its place so this is not only the first appearance it's not mentioned of Hydra it's the first appearance of shield and then it's also the first Nick Fury agent of shield because uh, typically he was just sergeant fury before that so like, like I said I went through you know starting to collect Starenko art into collecting and reading uh, you know Nick Fury and then I ended up deciding to pick up Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos, issue number 27. And then the significance is, you know, the storyline behind how he loses his eye. So I kind of wanted to read that. It was kind of like a, a minor key in a sense. Because, um, you know, you, you look at him and 
if you were thinking that uh, it was a cat that, you know, injured his eye, that's incorrect. So he ends up catching a uh, German handstick grenade and he doesn't throw it far enough and, uh, you know, his eye is, is injured. And then you, you kind of get the, the, you know, the, the understanding of how, how it happened. So that was, you know, my little collecting phase when I first started coming back into, you know, collecting comics. And so, you know, like, recently I was thinking about, you know, Secret Invasion. I was thinking about, you know, Samuel L. Jackson as uh, Nick Fury. And, um, you know, these books don't really portray him, you know, in a sense. So I kind of did some research and I've been looking for this book and uh, ended up finding this copy. It was uh, listed in... A seller was listing one in, in Honolulu and for I don't know for whatever reason maybe it was the time that it was listed but it was listing it was it was ending at like at a normal time but I noticed that um, when it was telling me I had two minutes left to bid I made a bid and then it changed it added like 10 minutes to the to time and it said you have 12 minutes to, till this ends so I ended up getting this um, I think I paid 51 bucks uh, I think I'm all in with shipping and, and tax at 71. Um, this book has sold all in all different price ranges. Um, I think maybe somebody was a sucker and paid like 400. I don't know, but um, there's there's one listed right now for 200 bucks. I think for 71 bucks, I think you know I should be able to sell it. You know, around 200 bucks or more, um, depending on when I decide to sell it. But the importance of this book is that this is the first african-american um nick fury ultimate nick fury and so this is the beginning of of you know marvel's um you know introdu introduction into this version of of this character but it wasn't until uh ultimates 2 that that nick fury actually resembles you know samuel l jackson um in comics it's a it's a pretty pretty striking resemblance but um I thought that was a good book to buy for the price. It's you know very very low buy-in and uh, I'm not probably looking to keep that long term. Same thing with like I said the strange tales. I've had that for a year now and uh, eventually I'd like to you know get that sold and and buy some other, you know, probably ASM key that would mean more to me in my collection than that, but I definitely do think it's a good book to buy. I think it's something that um you can buy raw and be able to send in and have graded and and return on your investment when um, maybe when Secret Invasion comes in to uh, you know MCU for the show. Anyways, I think that's it. I'm gonna have a box that comes in Friday. It's, I'm pretty excited. It's a McFarland book. It's a really nice book, book that I've been wanting. Um, I got a really good price on it. Somebody, um, I don't know what happened to it, but I think not too many eyes were on it. And I got it for a really good price, so I'm going to probably have a video coming Friday just for that. Uh, hopefully it does come in then. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this and uh, learned something maybe about Nick Fury. I think probably you probably did because I don't think too many people uh, are after that book. It's probably a dollar bin book that you could find um, in, in the back at bins. I've been looking for that book um, just for that reason. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.